Good day, good day. Hello, and welcome once again to Friday Frolics from Folk at the Salmon Bothy. Um, hope everybody's okay. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, we're managing not to kill each other. Uh, no, it's, it's somewhat better than that, but not much. Um, we're going to start today with uh, our wonderful Fats Van Dyke, and um, and away we go. There was a few comments. Where's your heart, man? I've got the heart on tonight. Just so she can. It's me. It's not an imposter, it's me. A song about meeting the devil. <laughs> Met the devil at the side of the road one day. He said, said it's hard to say Well he smiled at me with a wicked grin And he reached into his coat and then Gave me a bottle full of something sweet Says I'll fill it up every time we meet Singing oh mama the way I'm living Lying and the sinning and I just can't change Oh mama the way I'm living was all it took to get my name in his book now I sleep all day and I'm out all night but I can't tell wrong from right well you know I'd change if I could but feeling bad but it feels so good saying oh mama the way I'm living can't change. Oh, mama, the way I'm living. If I ever get to heaven, it's a doggone shame. Thanks very much, Fats Van Dyke. Uh, I could, uh, I, I can listen to that man over and over again. Right, uh, we've that's the only uh, song we've got from Fats tonight, uh, but we've got other things from other people, uh, which brings me to something else. If you'd like to contribute, if you'd like to um, sing a song, read a poem, um, tell a story, uh, anything you'd like to do, please do get in touch and um we'll we'll look to put it onto uh, onto next week's video or the week after or um basically we're we're looking to do this all the way through uh through the lockdown maybe a little bit afterwards as well um we've got a wonderful new feature for you tonight um more of that later for now 
Uh, we're going to go to Lindsay Watson um, and, uh, well, she'll introduce herself. This is a song by Archie Fisher called The Final Troll. It's been three long years since we made her pay. Thanks, Lindsay. Thank you very much. Um, we've got a little bit more from her later on, but for now we're going to move straight on to uh, our wonderful friend Paul Mudy, who's been uh, a stalwart of the club. Definitely, definitely the right word, a stalwart, um, for quite a while now. Uh, he and uh, he and his wife Debbie are um, 
denizens of Potsoi and uh, just about involved in everything um, apart from possibly the ice cream shop. Right, Paul last week started a sort of mini-series um, of the Albert poems. So, without much ado, here's number two. Hello to the second in the Albert series from number 24. And today we're in our bedroom out at the front. And although you can't see through the window because it's so bright outside, we have a lovely view of the sea. Now, Mar Maria Edgar's second Albert, Albert's Return. You've heard how young Albert Ramsbottom at the zoo up at Blackpool one year with a stick with an horse's head handle, give a lion a pork in his ear. But well, name of the lion was Wallace. And the pork in the ear made him wild. And before you could say, Bob's your uncle, he'd upped and he'd swallowed the child. He was a sorry the moment he'd done it. For with children he'd always been chums. And besides, he'd no teeth in his muzzle. And he couldn't chew Albert on guns. He could feel the lad moving inside him as he lay on his bed of dried ferns. And if it had been little lad's birthday, he'd have wished him happy returns. But Albert kept kicking and fighting, and Wallace got up feeling bad and decided to at time that he started to stage a comeback for the lad. Then put his head down in one corner, and on his front paws he started to walk. He coughed and he sneezed and he gargled, till Albert shot out, just like a cock. Now Wallace felt better directly, and his figure once more became lean. But the only difference with Albert was his face and his hands were quite clean. Meanwhile... Mr. and Mrs. Ramsbottom had gone back to their tea feeling blue. Ma said, I feel reek down in mouth like, and Pa said, Aye, I bet Albert does too. Then said Mother, It just goes to show you the future is never revealed. If I thought we was going to lose him, I'd never had his boots sold and healed. Let's look on bright side, said father. What can't be helped must be endured. Each cloud has a silvery lining. And we did have young Albert insured. A knock on door came at that moment, as father these kind words did speak. It was a man from Prudential. He'd come for their tuppence per person per week. When father saw who had been knocking, he laughed and he kept laughing. So the man said, hey, what's there to laugh at? Pa said, you're laughing all when you know. Said the young man from the Prudential, now come, come, let's understand this. You don't mean to say that you've lost him. Pa said, oh no, 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 we know where he is. When young man heard all details, a purse from his pocket he drew. And he paid them with interest and bonus the sum of nine pounds four and two. Excuse him for laughing, said Mother, but really things happen so strange. Al Albert's been bitten, eaten by a lion and you've got to pay us for a change. Pa had scarce got his hand on money when a face at the window they see and mother could he look it's Albert and father said aye it would be Albert came in all excited and the store he started his story to give and pa said I'll never trust lions again not as long as I live and the young man from Prudential to pick up the money began but father said whoa whoa wait a moment don't be an hurry young man then giving young Albert a shilling, he said, Here, pop back off to the zoo. Get your stick with the horse's head handle and see what tigers, tigers can do. Well, 
That's it for another week. We'll see you again. Bye bye. Thank you very, very much, Paul. Um, I am looking forward to episode three next week. Please do join us for that. Um, now, one of the um, wonderful guest artists we've got uh, this week is um, is Artie Tresize. Many, many, many people who are watching this will know who he is um, from watching the single Singing Kettle as, as kids and as grown-ups with kids and as grandparents with kids. Um, Although not too much of the latter, I don't think. Um, sorry, Artie. <laughs> now then, he is an amazing guy and uh, is still going strong. Very, very much so. Um, and um, here's the evidence. <laughs> Hi everybody in Port Soy. Sorry I can't be with you for obvious reasons. And I hope you're enjoying this virtual folk club uh, at the Salmon Bothy. Before I get started, just a quick apology for the backdrop here. Uh, I have been doing a lot of singing kettle stuff for children. It's up online now on YouTube. Uh, it's Artie's Singing Kettle. On YouTube, Artie's Singing Kettle. Oh, there's about a dozen, uh, even more, babysitting songs for you. So look out for that, but let's get going with this song. Uh, I'm going to do The Generations of Change, which I recorded with Scylla way back in 1979. And you know, I think it's just as valid today and in a way uh, even more pertinent, especially to you folks up in the northeast of Scotland. They are in Port Soy. So here we are, The Generations of Change by Matt Armour.
Well, the banks are still strong, but the stable pass, and the time come at last for the weakness of age to make way for the young. My grandkids are growing, to the school they're soon going. The long weeks of summer they spend here with me. We walk through the warm days and talk of the old ways. Cornfield and codfish, the land and the sea. We walk through the fields that my father once tilled. Talk away the old men that once sailed the me. Man, it's been awfully good. I've shown them all the good old past and the present, what their future might be. When the morn will be their day, what will be their way? What will they make o'er oh, the land, sea, and sky? Man, I've seen off he change, but it still seems guy strange. They look at my world through the eyes of a child. Still love singing that one. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, people of Port Soy. Bye for now. The wonderful, wonderful Artie Trezise. Um, right. Uh, thank you very much, Artie. And and please do, um, please do uh, uh, get onto YouTube and have a look at those videos. If you've got children or grandchildren. Um, and they need entertaining, he's the man to do it. Um, <clears throat> so, remember, Artie's singing kettle. We are going to move on now to uh, something that I did uh, a couple of years ago with my wonderful friend, Doug Hay. Now, Doug is, um, is a great Buffy Ballad singer. Um, he recently came, uh, came second in Champion of Champions, um, which must be one of the last things that was uh, that actually uh, happened before the lockdown started. Um, he was champion of champions in Elgin. Uh, sorry, he was uh, second in champion of champions in Elgin, um, beaten by um, a man who uh, <laughs> I think has won it seven times now. Um, we'll see if we can get him on as well. This is um, this is a, a song that Doug wrote to the tune of another. Um, of, a, of a Bothy ballad that um, uh, that talks about people and carrying on something that we just can't do anymore. It takes a kind of folk to guard the world turn around. Fisher folk and farmers and them that's fair the tune. Some are gay old cricket and others of a green. A feral merry mishmash, they got ya clayer heed. Country beldy fas the frazy kind, well, Athens of a rear. Oot for our fly cup fit and fine, new frock and blue runs hair. Meet in Abdi in the street, her message bag in hand, fit to light the day the weather's fine. Who's often mechdy gran? It takes a kind of folk to guard the world turn a ruin. Fisher folk and farmers and them that's fay the tune. Some are gay old tricket 
And there's a fagwin, a fair old merry mishmash, the garia clayer he. The butcher shop for bailing beef, may ten we muggy read. Ix and painche hezema, Joe Blames and Flehe heed. St. Lizzie Donald's bakery shop for buttries, bops, and scones. And she hears that Wooly Hayes run up with a florist, Betty Jones. Oh, it, it talks a kind of fountigar, the world turn a run. Fisher folk and farmers, and then that's fae the tune. Some are gael tricket, and others off a green, a fair old merry mishmash, de gar ye clyer he. The druggist then for aspirin and pile cream for her bum. Fin zoot fa's deed and fall get wed, fay lily fay for chum. Say not a kettle poker fa's got serbets warner you. You just wish that she would shut up scene and close her yup and moo. It talks a kind of fautigar the world turn a run. Fisher folk and farmers and them that's fae the tune. Some are gale tricket and others off a queen. A fair old merry mishmash the gar ye clyer he. There you go, that was myself um, murdering some chords on the guitar and the inimitable Dougie Hay, um, who is going to be singing a lot more for us in the coming weeks, uh, but we, we need to sort out the technical side of that first. Okay, right. I think it's time for our very, very special guest or, or a special feature, a very special feature, sorry, um, for this week. This is something that we're going to do uh, week in, week out, we're going to choose a performance by uh, a special guest from, or, or by somebody from uh, our past. Uh, these videos are, um, uh, are older, and, and they're, uh, but they're, they're absolutely fantastic. Tonight, we have um, a video from uh, Carl McConnell and uh, Duncan Wood. And, um, well, we'll let them introduce themselves. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to do a, a song. I don't going to explain to you about this song, can I be? It's, it's a, a song called The Wild Rapparee. It's an Irish song. Uh, does anybody here know what a rapparee is? Not a referee, but a rapparee. Yeah. No? Oh, he's a bandit, an outlaw. It's Irish for a bandit, an outlaw, someone who lives outside the letter of the law. And in the, uh, in the last century, there were there were uh, lots of them in Ireland. There still are. <laughs> and this is a song I heard about 40, odd, over 40 years ago. And, uh, Even though he's only 39. <laughs> <laughs> and I started to bring it back. I don't think I haven't heard it before. We try to do a wee arrangement of it. And we just try and, we're just going to try and see what happens. We'll read them. It's quite a gory song because he gets. Uh, oh, no, no, no. We love it. Well, he gets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find out. You'll he find goes out. He's a for a job. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
And as I say, that's going to be a feature of um, our weekly broadcast video, whatever you want to call it, uh, from now on. Uh, we're going to pick up something from uh, from the past and show it again and, and let you know what's, uh, what sort of people, what sort of entertainment you are likely to get at the Sam and Buffy when we're all back together again. Okay, for now, uh, it is half time or it's time for us to take a break. And so we will. And I will see you in about five minutes, give you a chance to uh, go to the loo if you need to, uh, make a cup of tea, coffee, or something stronger. Um, and if you're getting one, get one in for me, will you?
Okay, welcome back to the second half. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, and we're actually going to start off with a uh, another video from the archives. This is the Kilcawley family who were with us, I think, about seven years ago. All right, we're going to start with a song called By the Sea that um, I wrote not long ago. And it's about an old woman. Has anyone been to Morecambe before? Well, that's where we're kind of from. Damon's from Morecambe, and we um, just moved there from London. And um, it's a strange place. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, just a town by the sea, a bit like this one, but obviously not as nice. <laughs> And I've been here my whole life By the sea By the sea I'm the daughter of an Irish man A drunk By the sea By the sea It's a wonder from our homeland across the sea across the sea my mother was a strong woman she put up with so much by the sea by the sea as I Sea. 
by the sea And like this town I too will decay By the sea By the sea I'm not afraid to die But to leave this world alone By the sea by the sea As I reach my dying day I remember what my mother used to say We're all dust Until the wind blows us away Thanks very much to the Kilcawley family. Um, we're still in touch with them, um, briefly, uh, but uh, briefly, <laughs> we're still in touch with them. But I um, uh, don't know, obviously, when uh, there's a likelihood of them coming back again, or uh, or have you been able to see them anywhere? Um, because we're still in this lockdown, but we'll make it through. We've got each other, and um, and we got music. As long as you've got food and water, you should be get, should be able to get by. Right, we now move back to Lindsay Watson, her ukulele and her voice, and um, she wants us to to come spend a while with her. Here we go. This is a song by Lionel McClellan called "Come Spend a While with Me." Oh 
Thanks very much, Lindsay. Right, uh, special announcement time. Um, we are very, very good friends. Uh, the Stonehaven Folk Club um, have a special announcement. I'm going to read this verbatim from their email uh, so that I, I get it right. Um, this is um, Stonehaven Folk in partnership with Hands Up For Trad. I'll ignore that. I'm not going to edit it out. Um, launches Folk In Crisis support fund with £5,000 inaugural donation. Stonehaven Folk Club recognises the catastrophic impact that COVID-19 has had on Scottish folk artists and their crews' incomes. To help address this impact, the club has teamed up with Hands Up For Trad to start a fund to help support folk musicians and music production staff living in Scotland during the crisis. To launch the fund, Stonehaven Folk Club is providing 20 grants of £250 to help towards living expenses during this period when affected individuals are unable to work. <clears throat> it's hoped this fund will grow with further donations from other organisations and the public. I do know that this is something that um, folk at the Salmon Bothy are looking at at the moment, uh, but obviously I don't want to jump the gun um, because it's not my decision to make. Um, to support the project, please donate by going to the fund's Just Giving page, which is www.justgiving.com slash crowdfunding slash folk hyphen in hyphen crisis you're never going to write these down so what i'm going to do is put them on the event page so go to the event page after uh you've watched the video um that's uh, folk at the salmon bothy on facebook go to the event page and um and also this this uh, video is is going to be the first one up on uh, our youtube page 
uh, and so the details will be there. Um, all the details of any um, artist's um, tip jars or uh, ways to support them are uh, attached to the videos wherever they are. So um, <clears throat> please uh, please do, do give if you can. If you're an affected individual, please do contact the Folk in Crisis Support Fund and um, <clears throat> let's hope that we can all get through this together. Okay, some very good friends of the of the club, um, long time members, long time attenders, and and entertainers, um, are a, a, a local band called Knock and Hair, which is um, which is based in uh, White Hills, and it's uh, it's basically three friends of ours, um, Marco, who's currently in Switzerland, um, Ruth and Jim, Ruth and Jim Fisher, who. Um, who have sent us a video of one of Ruth's songs called Curlew's Call. Ruth and Jim, take it away. Okay. This is Curlew's Call. We are doing this without our friend Marco and Mandolin, so we shall give it a go. <laughs>
Thanks, Ruth. Thanks, Jim. That's uh, that's a lovely song. Right. Um, we're going to move straight along um, to an, yet another of um, our stalwarts. And I'm using that word advisedly. This is um, Paul Mudie's other half. Um, I better say better half because otherwise Debbie will kill me. This is Debbie. Um, and she is going to she's going to play for us. Not something that we've seen at the club. So I'm I'm really excited about this. This is uh, hopefully this will this will um, be a, a regular thing. Hi everybody, Debbie here. I'm a regular at the Bothy, but as you will all know, I don't normally perform. Uh, but I do play the recorder. I like to blow down things for pleasure. And so I thought I'd introduce you to my recorder family. So the one at the top is the Saperino, and then we have the Soprano, which is the one I'm going to play today. Then we have the uh, treble, the tenor and the bass. And maybe over the next few weeks I'll give you a few tunes or Chris, Paul and I will give us a few tunes uh, on the different recorders uh, because basically I can delete it and get until I get it right. I don't think you'll ever see me do it live at the Bothy, but hey ho, you never know. Anyway, so here we go, a little tune which I hope you recognise and um, here we go. So I hope you recognise that as green sleeves. Stay safe, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Thanks again, Debbie Mudie. Um, fantastic. I'm, I'm, uh, I love it, and uh, and I'm hoping that we'll be able to convince uh, Deb to to give us more because uh, that sounded great. That was really, really good. Green sleeves there. Right. Uh, unfortunately for you, it's time for me. Uh, I've um, I wrote a song last year, or rather I wrote the lyrics for a song last year, um, and um, not really got a, a tune, didn't have a tune to go with it, and just in the last week I managed to come up with a tune. It's not finished, but um, it's finished enough to, to give you a quick blast. I would really appreciate um, everybody's uh, opinions. Um, just keep them clean and uh this is called but do you love your children <laughs>
give them what they need Not selfish, grasping, desperate want Not toddler-leading greed But do you love your children? them right from wrong good and bad and see they know not just to play along but do you love your children then show them history Rise of tyrants, fall of kings. Oh, slaves yearning to be free. But do you love your children? Then let them try and fail and try again. Work and work through their work prevail. Do you love your children? Mm. And ask them what they think. Mind it well, or you respect their thoughts. sideline with a wing Do you love your children Demonstrate your heart Be open, honest, fair and real Oh, be only Do you love your children? Fill their hungry minds With life and truth and honesty Teach them to be kind oh, But do you love your children, children, and let them be themselves, oh, and give permission, no demand, they question truths you've held. Tell me, are you sure? And love them full and forcefully. We are tomorrow's cure. Do you love your? There we go, that's uh, another of me, Mike Blackburn's uh, songs called Do You and Do You Love Your Children? Uh, sorry, But Do You Love Your Children? Um, it's only my own song, why should I know anything about it? Um, strangely, strangely uh, upbeat up for me, uh, but uh, you know, this, uh, this lockdown has done some weird things to us all. Now, I've got some interesting, well, I've got some exciting news, yes! Uh, earlier on, I said that um, our wonderful friend Dougie Hay had been um, trying to uh, had been trying to upload stuff, and uh, we needed to sort the technology out. Well, guess what? Oh, 
we've sorted the technology out. Well, he has, and um, and here he is. Nunu Adi, Nunu Fuzadi Din the day. It's time for a wee song for the Oraloon, I think. I've been um, had plenty of time to look at some new songs, so I was going to do Jock Stewart. It's a Stuart Sablair um, song uh, for the Travelling Focus. And I kind of learned it a wee bit. We, I own a Fife last year. We had a workshop out at the Macduff Arts Centre. And I just, I just love the chorus and I just like the song. So here it goes. It's called Jock Stewart. No, my name is Jock Stewart. I'm a Canigan lad. And a roving young fella I've been. Say be easy and free when you're drinking with me. I'm a man you don't see every day. I've got a car's all on. I hae men at command, and I've always a shillin' to spare. Say be easy and free, when you're drinking with me. I'm a man you don't see every day. Well, I took out my gun, and my dog for to shoot way down in the county to run. Say be easy and free when you're drinking with me. I'm a man you don't see every day. I'm a roving young blade. I'm a piper to trade, and there's money's a tune I can't play. Say be easy and free, when you're drinking with me. I'm a man you don't see every day. So come fill up your glasses. We brandy and wine, fit ever it costs I will pay. Say be easy and free, when you're drinking with me. I'm a man you don't see every day. There we go, I hope you enjoyed that. And just a wee reminder, then I bother being your in here because I'm in the right coca pot. So there we go. Just a warranty. Ya. Cheerio. Thanks very much, Dougie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right. Um, okay, folks. Everything else that you need, all the links and what have you, they're going to be on the event page. Um, but uh, check those out after, after we've um, uh, finished here. Um, Dougie, uh, thank you. Uh, Fats, thank you. Lindsay, Paul. Artie, uh, Debbie, um, Lindsay Watson, oh yeah, I've thanked her already, Sarah, BT, who is coming next, Ruth uh, and Jim Fisher, um, Cahill McConnell and Duncan Wood, uh, and the Kilcoley family, thank you very much everybody, um, and uh, as I said, we'll close now with with uh, Sarah BT with a, her second set from... Um, from last week that we we couldn't fit in um fortunately for us because we can then we can now hear it from her sarah beatty hello there it's sarah beatty again and uh, i'm going to play a couple more sets of tunes for you um so one of my favorite composers as a fiddler from the northeast has got to be scott skinner and uh, since i was yay high i've always uh, played his compositions and so the, the book that I go by is like the Fiddler's Bible and it's, it's all of his tunes and variations. So I'm going to start with a March to Spain reel, typical of the Northeast, and I'm going to play Scott Skinner's Compliments to Dr. MacDonald, followed by Talcan Lodge 
and the real the hurricane. change um, of dynamic with uh, nothing slow this time but I'm gonna play um, one of my party pieces I'll call it and uh, it's, you'll all know it. it's Orange Blossom Special followed by a few other bluegrass tunes that I know and finishing off with Fiddling Around. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you very much and I hope you're keeping safe in lockdown. Cheers, good night.